Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be modding my shift knob. I'm going to be taking it apart and I'll be showing you how to do that. And I'm going to be painting the gray under the numbers. I'm going to be painting that red. So let's get into it and I'll show you how to take this thing apart. So if you take a look at my shift knob, you can see that it's starting to wire out on the bottom. So I'm going to take this bottom ring off and I'm going to repaint it silver. And then I'm going to pop off the top and paint that red so it looks more like an STI style shift knob. So to take this clip off the bottom, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. There is four clips on the outside of this and you'll put your flathead in between this ring and the leather and you'll just slowly pry it up and go around the outside and the four clips will release and your ring will come off. There it is. There's the ring and there's the bottom. It is now off. So stick your needle nose pliers down inside of this hole and there's two clips you'll have to compress together to pop the top off of here. So I'm going to try to get my screwdriver under the top and pop the clips together and get everything apart. Okay, so this is what the shifter looks like when it's disassembled. You can see through the shift knob there. And then you can see on the shift pattern, the clip on the bottom that you have to release in order to pop this up and out of here. So I ended up just taking a flathead screwdriver and going around the outside. And I took this uh, Torx screwdriver and went up underneath through the hole and then just popped it out with that. So now I'm going to take my shift pattern and I'm going to put this in hot water. I'm going to microwave a bunch of water and sit this in there for a while because on the back there is double sticky tape. That's so I'm going to loosen up that sticky tape with some hot water and then I'm going to take that apart. Got my hot water, now I'm going to put the shifter trim in the water for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been in here for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to take it out. It's gonna be really hot, so I'm using a spoon to take that out. Take that out of here. And I'm going to take my screwdriver and push on these triangle areas to raise this portion out of the trim. You can kind of see it lifting there. Go over to the other side. There you go. There's the bottom of the shifter trim and where it mounts. Okay, so here it is. I got it all cleaned up. I went ahead and got some goo gone and cleaned up the back of this. So now I'm going to get some sandpaper and sand the back of this off because that this thing is essentially clear and whatever is painted on the back will show through. So the numbers will stay silver unless you can figure out some crazy clever way to sand out the inside of the numbers. And now we're going to change just the back. So let's get some sandpaper and sand the back of this. Okay guys, so I'm all done sanding. This is what the back looks like. 
I'll sand it off. There's the front. And I recommend using a paper towel so that when you're sanding, you can see through it and you can see where you need to sand and what spots you haven't hit yet. So now I got this all sanded, I used this super fine uh, sanding paper and I also used headlight restoring sandpaper that I got out of the kit. So now it's all smooth and now I'm going to paint the back red and then I'll stick it back in the shift knob. So here is the final look at everything painted. I got my bottom part done. This is a gray, dark gray metallic. This is going to match the color of my car. I wanted to give it kind of a more personalized look. So I think the silver is going to turn out really good. And here is the numbers in red. I left the outside ring black or the original color that it was without sanding it off. So it gives it kind of a cool ring around the outside, kind of a faded look. And then here is the top cap that it will sit in. And this is also the dark gray metallic. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but it's definitely got some metallic to it. So now that I'm pretty much done with all of this, I'm just gonna pop it all back together and then we'll see what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so here's the final product. This is how it turned out. There's the gray, there's the red. Looks pretty good, now let's screw it on. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you modify your shift knob to have it be whatever color you want. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon with another tutorial. See ya.